What's up guys, it's Rowan here from Art of Smart TV. I think most of us understand intuitively the value of a group study session. Because whenever exams start coming up and they're a couple of weeks away, all of a sudden everyone's saying, hey, hey guys, do you want to do a, a group study session? Let's do a group study session. Let's do a study session. All of a sudden everyone is doing group study sessions. But you know, they typically only happen a couple of weeks before an exam. And look, there's lots of really powerful reasons why group study sessions are really powerful. You know, number one, they're more social. So they're more fun. You can actually focus and get your study done more effectively because you feel like you're having fun, but you're getting stuff done. So that's one reason why they're really good. The second reason they're really good though is because you're actually getting a feedback loop on the level of your knowledge. You know, your friends in the group are able to show you by what they know or what they don't know what you don't know. They're going to show you the black spots that you have, the weak areas, and they're also going to help you understand your strengths. And that's really powerful as a diagnosis tool to help you work out what you should focus on in your study. So there are two really great reasons why you should be doing group study sessions. But let's be honest, we've also been in a group study session where it's just felt like an entire waste of time. You've got nothing done, you've chilled out the whole time, or people have been too far advanced or too slow and it just hasn't provided you with value. So, in this video, what I wanna share with you is I wanna share with you three strategies that you can use, three really simple guidelines to actually make your group study sessions more effective. Because they are incredibly powerful as a study tool if you structure them in the right way. So let's find out what these three guiding principles are. So here are the three ground rules that you can use to make your group work effective. The first one is actually identify a specific time of the week or day that you're going to meet. A start time and an end time. That's really, really important. And allow a 15 minute end period to just hang out and chill out. So that way then when, at any point when you're studying in the group and all of a sudden you get distracted and you start chilling, someone can call out, hey, hey guys, let's focus here. We've got the 15 minutes to just chill and hang out at the end. So have a specific time period in that session to chill out. That's number one. Number two, as you're planning for that session, actually be really clear on what topics or parts of the syllabus you're going to cover. Don't go in with the general plan. Have a really, really specific plan of what you're going to achieve. Because that way you've got something to measure your progress and the outcomes that you've achieved and the success of that session. So plan the session, identify which parts of the content you are going to cover. And the third and final suggestion is really simply, keep the group at no more than three people. And the reason for that is generally more than three tends to just descend into a gossip and a hangout session. And additionally, it's also gonna reduce the amount of time that you can actually have to teach others and to contribute. And that's really important. Too many people, less time that you get to contribute, less valuable for your learning. In saying that, you need to have the right amount of people so that you've got some diversity in perspectives and opinions. And three seems to be the sweet spot that enables both of those to be balanced and occur. So remember, specific start time, end time with a 15 minute window at the end for hanging out, have a specific set of outcomes of content you're going to cover, and limit the group to three people. So that's how, guys, you can make your group study sessions more effective. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to help you, uh, be it helping you get a better study group working or more broadly navigate that journey from high school to life beyond. You know the drill, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button, we're doing videos every single week. So I will see you next week.